What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Witness with me, Jess Collins. In the last episode, we kind of failed. But we did find a recorder and we did go on a boat. Why is it dinging? Why is it dinging? Oh, probably because I've gone full throttle. Gone full speed ahead. We're going to crash. See if we crash, I'd laugh. That'd be funny. <laughs> no. No one laugh. But no, um, I think this episode, well, in the last episode we ended, I was completely confused. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't. I just needed to go lie down for a bit because my brain was just completely gone. That was a hard episode. But I think in this episode I've decided I'm going to have an extra relaxing one. I'm going to go climb the mountain once and for all. Hopefully we're not going to get stuck by too many puzzles in the way. We did ride the boat in the last one. We didn't exactly go far, but we did ride it eventually. But what we want to do is go up the mountain. Okay, cool. So, um. How do we do this again? Oh no, we're stuck at the first hurdle. Is it this? Wait, no. How do we do this again? We did one of these before. How have I forgotten? Oh no. Um. Hmm. How do we do this? Looks like we're not climbing the mountain today, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. How is this possible? Unless it's a double. Like so. No. Do we need to include them all in? Wait, can I just do this? One, two, three, space, one, two, three. In theory, it's, it's all right. Can I do that? Yeah. Oh, that's a lot simpler than I was expecting. Are we moving? What did I do? I don't think I did anything. Unless we've got to do it the other way around. Something's bubbling though. Something that wasn't bubbling a second ago. What was bubbling? What did we do? I don't like this. Why? What? What did we... What? I'm so confused. I wanted to go over there. Oh! It's spinning. Just very slowly. Okay. You hurry up. I want to go and see this thing. Let's go see that statue while we wait. It's pretty cool. Oh, can we line them up to like be holding hands? It's like the statue of Adam or whatever it's called. I think it's the statue of Adam. Something like that, I know. Can we cross while it's still glowing? Yeah, we can. Good. And we can't go over there yet. Or at all. Okay, so we want to go up here. We're climbing the mountain. What's at the top? It's about time we get up to the mountain at the top. There's a couple of episodes because we wanted to get up here, but we failed. Oh, what's along here? <laughs> no, this episode I've just I did say at the beginning I was just gonna go exploring. Cause I've had Well, no, I had a break, so I could have potentially had a nice relax eh uh, gone back in and started solving puzzles, but I kinda wanted to explore. Oh, let's see what's up. Ooh, beacon. Oh, no. No, we've been here. This is just a flower bit. No, we have been here. We're, we're no further ahead. No. Oh, I thought that was a, I thought this was the way to climb the mountain. But we've came here before and we couldn't climb the mountain because we get stuck. Maybe. Can we drop down there? Can we? Oh, we can go up here. I don't think we did that the last time. I don't know. Ooh, it's the hand. This is cool. <gasps> you can see everything from here. I like this. We never went into the fortress. We've walked past it a million, oh, maybe not a million, a couple of times, but we never went in. Right, let's climb the mountain. Let's get to the top. I want to see what's up there. I know we're probably going to have to solve all the beacons before we can Ooh, do anything. Oh, well, this is creepy. Oh, footsteps and everything. I don't like this. Uh oh. 
how do we solve these again? I've forgotten how we solve these. I'm not going to try. <laughs> I can't remember how to solve them. But it looks dead difficult. Um, but I wanted to climb the mountain. That's what I'm going to do. I don't want to... Ooh, there's mist. I don't want to solve any difficult puzzles. Not today. Oh, I probably will eventually. Oh, wow. This is... This is pretty creepy. It's like they've tried to break this thing and they all turn to stone. Ah! It's like two beacons solved. I'm assuming that's how we opened this thing. One, two, three... So we only need to solve seven? Is there only seven beacons in the game? I thought there was more than that because I'm pretty sure we've come across more areas than seven. Oh well. But, oh, I was about to say it's a shorter game than I thought then, but no, it's really not. Considering it's taken me this long to just get this far. So what's under here? That's cool. I like this though, it's pretty cool, you can see everything. Oh! Oh, what is this? Yeah, this is all very creepy. Oh, there's the beacon, setting that thing. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, we can see the swamp that we were just in. There's a beacon down there. There's so much of this area, this map we haven't been to. There's a lot we have, but there's so much we haven't. <gasps> Recording device. Up there, you go around every hour and a half. Time after time after time. You wake up usually in the mornings, and just the way that the track of your orbits go, you wake up over the Mideast, over North Africa. As you eat breakfast, you look out the window as you're going past, and there's the Mediterranean area, and Greece, and Rome, and North Africa, and the Sinai, the whole area. And you realize that in one glance, that what you're seeing is what was the whole history of man for years. The cradle of civilization. And you go around down across North Africa and out over the Indian Ocean. And look up at that great subcontinent of India, pointed down toward you as you go past it. And Ceylon off to the side, Burma, Southeast Asia, out over the Philippines, and up across that monstrous Pacific Ocean, vast body of water. You've never realized how big that is before. And you finally come up across the coast of California and look for those friendly things. Los Angeles and Phoenix and on across El Paso. And there's Houston. There's home. And you look and sure enough, there's the Astrodome. And you identify with that, you know? It's an attachment and down across New Orleans, and then looking down to the south, and there's the whole peninsula of Florida laid out. And all the hundreds of hours you spent flying across that route, down in the atmosphere, all that is friendly again. And you go out across the Atlantic Ocean and back across Africa. And you do it again, and again, and again. And that identity, that you identify with Houston, and then you identify with Los Angeles, and Phoenix, and New Orleans, and everything. And the next thing you recognize in yourself is you're identifying with North Africa. You look forward to that. You anticipate it. And there it is. That whole process begins to shift of what it is you identify with. When you go around it in an hour and a half, you begin to recognize that your identity is with that whole thing. And that makes a change. You look down there, and you can't imagine how many borders and boundaries you crossed again and again and again. And you don't even see them. At that wake-up scene, the Mideast, you know there are hundreds of people killing each other over some imaginary line that you can't see. From where you see it, the thing is a whole, and it's so beautiful. And you wish you could take one from each side in hand and say, look at it from this perspective. Look at that. What's important? And so a little later on, your friend, again those same neighbors, another astronaut, 
The person next to you goes out to the moon. And now he looks back and sees the Earth, not as something big where he can see the beautiful details, but he sees the Earth as a small thing out there. And now that contrast between that bright blue and white Christmas tree ornament and that black sky, that infinite universe really comes through. The size of it, the significance of it, it becomes both things. It becomes so small and so fragile and such a precious little spot in that universe that you can block it out with your thumb. And you realize that on that small spot, that little blue and white thing is everything that means anything to you. All of history and music and poetry and art and war and death and birth and love, tears, joy, games, all of it is on that little spot out there that you can cover with your thumb. And you realize that that perspective, that you've changed, that there's something new there, that relationship is no longer what it was. And then you look back on the time when you were outside on that EVA and those few moments that you had the time because the camera malfunctioned, that you had the time to think about what was happening. And you recall staring out there at the spectacle that went before your eyes. Because now, you're no longer inside something with a window looking out at a picture. But now you're out there, and what you've got around your head is a goldfish bowl, and there are no limits here. There are no frames. There are no boundaries. You're really out there, over it, floating, going 25,000 miles per hour, ripping through space, a vacuum, and there's not a sound. There's a silence, the depth of which you've never experienced before. And that silence contrasts so markedly with the scenery and the speed with which you know you're going. That contrast, the mix of those two things, really comes through. And you think about what you're experiencing and why. Do you deserve this? This fantastic experience? Have you earned this in some way? Are you separated out to be touched by God to have some special experience here that other men cannot have? You know the answer to that is no. There's nothing that you've done that deserves that, that earned that. It's not a special thing for you. You know very well at that moment, and it comes through to you so powerfully that you're the sensing element for man. You look down and see the surface of that globe that you've lived on all this time, and you know all those people down there. They are like you. They are you. And somehow you represent them when you are up there. A sensing element. That point out on the end. And that's a humbling feeling. It's a feeling that says you have a responsibility. It's not for yourself. The eye that doesn't see does not do justice to the body. That's why it's there. That's why you're out there. And somehow you recognize that you're a piece of this total life. You're out on that forefront and you have to bring that back somehow. And that becomes a rather special responsibility. It tells you something about your relationship with this thing we call life. And when you come back, there's a difference in that world now. There's a difference in that relationship between you and that planet, and you and all those other forms of life on that planet, because you've had that kind of experience. It's a difference, and it's so precious. And all through this, I've used the word you because it's not me. It's not Dave Scott. It's not Dick Gordon, Pete Conrad, John Glenn. It's you. It's us. It's we. It's life. It's had that experience. And it's not just my problem to integrate. It's not my challenge to integrate, my joy to integrate. It's yours. It's everybody's. You done? Russell Schweikart, 1975. Oh my god, seriously? Did she just keep going on and on and on? Oh, wow. That was like 10 minutes she spoke for? Oh, wow. If you sat through that, I, I gave up listening like a couple minutes in. 
Uh, it might have been interesting, but no, she just kept going on and on. But <laughs> when she was speaking, we did find something cool. I don't know which one I wanted to solve first. That or no. This. <laughs> That is cool. <laughs> so we did solve something. Ooh, why is it going dark? Okay, let's. Does that do anything at all? Can we solve this game? Did that turn it off? <laughs> okay, let's go see what that is. Let's get some more. Let's get some excitement into this episode after that. I might see if I can work out how to get the YouTube pop-up things to work so I can put in a, a thing that lets you skip that whole conversation. I don't know. I've kept I've, I kept the record going because some of you might have been interested in that. I think I went to sleep. But that was... There's so many times I tried to... I went to sp start speaking again and she's just like... Started speaking again. I'm like, stop it. No. I'm quite done. I'm quite finished. Oh, wow. That was just, just went on and on and on and on. Now, to the cool stuff. Where's that thing? Let's see what this does. Oh, oh, awesomeness. Oh. So, that's that one that's at the top there. So I'm assuming... I don't know. Um, let's find another beam. There's loads of them. They're all over the place. Let's see if that another beam's got that thing on it. So there's a whole lot of hidden secrets throughout the game. I would assume. I would. It would appear. Okay. Now, where's other beams? Because we've seen loads of them in the past. Where are they? I might go in there next episode. Um. I'm back for the village. <laughs> we might actually be able to solve some of the village puzzles now because we've got a couple of tutorials. We've actually learned some stuff since last time we were here. Yeah, like that. We should maybe be able to do them now. Uh, where's, the, where's the nearest beam? I'm sure we passed some. Is there any around here? No, where's the beams? We've seen loads of them. <laughs> uh, come on. Oh, what is this random rock? No idea. Okay, so... Oh, I know where one is. Oh, there's one here. Well, does this have a random symbol on it now? No. This one doesn't. Why? What does that mean? What does that symbol even mean? Alright, uh, well, as soon as we're here, I'm going to give this puzzle another go. The one I've tried a million times already. Just before we end up. This is a... Uh... Oh, wow. I need a break after listening to her speak. <laughs> I don't know, you guys might have found it interesting, but me, I just got bored. <laughs> I don't know, but no, I just... She kept, she, kept, she kept sounding like she was about to finish, and then she just kept going. Okay, this puzzle. This impossible puzzle that we've tried to solve a million times. And still makes no sense. Ta-da! No. No. Why did I just make this funny pattern if possible? Nope, I have no idea how to. I still have no idea how to solve this one, unless we solve it from behind. No. It's got to be to do with that rock. Cause all the other ones are to do with the rock. Hmm. How do we do this? 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 Ta -da. Uh, let's have a look at these other ones quickly. No, we don't want to see that because that's.
Oh, why, why is it, why did it go through so That was weird. Oh, what if we just go all the way? I know, I have no idea how to solve this one. This one doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It never will. Unless... What if... We angle it like so? No. No, I'm pretty sure that is this puzzle. No, this is that puzzle. Which we can't do yet. So... What if we do angle it like that? <gasps> oh. Okay, so up, down, up, up. Yes. <gasps> Guys, we did it. That's we've only been stuck in that puzzle since like episode two. How many puzzles have we got left in this area? One. Two, two left in this area, we may as well solve them before the episode ends and at least make do something this episode. Okay, so this one is... Um, what? <laughs> what? Okay, so... Maybe? <laughs> oh, well, that worked. <laughs> I guess. And... Last one, last puzzle. Okay, so how do we do this? Oh, is this another angle it right one? Rustling, scaring me. Okay, so. Um. Hmm. How do we do this? How do we line this up? Oh, don't do that. No, stop it. Oh. No, that's not right, is it? Huh. Unless this is a... Ah, this is a tricky one. Trying to catch us out here. Maybe. I think it is. Right, no. All the way up. Small one. Middle one. Tall one. Maybe. Unless that's not all the way up, that's uh, that. And that, and that, and that. Oh yes! Now what's this do? What does this do? What does... Oh, okay, did that just... Access more puzzles? No, we solved them. Mm. So what did this do? What did this do? Please do something. Did that not do anything? Really? Oh, that's disappointing. Unless... The beacon up there might be... No. Hmm. Ah, uh, why? Why, game? Why? Why? Why you do this? Okay. Um. Water reflections is cool. Hmm. Alright, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going over to those palm trees in the hopes that that actually did something. If that didn't do anything and we just wasted our time for episodes trying to work out that puzzle, I'm going to be quite sad. Quite disappointed. I don't know. Oh, uh, but uh, I finally solved those puzzles and it didn't do anything. Yeah, let's check this beacon. Does this beacon do anything? No. Down to the palm trees. Please, please have done something by doing that. Where are all these scatter things? Were they there before? Were they rocks? Were they always there? I would assume so. I have no idea what I did. I'm just going to check these palm trees, see if there's anything fancy around here.
No, there is nothing. What did that do? Did that do? Did that really do nothing? That is so disappointing. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh well. I guess. <laughs> I guess that's just disappointing then. Okay. Well. I guess that's where we're going to end the episode, guys. We, we finally solved that rock place. All those puzzles are done now. That's good. That's a good thing that they've all solved. They've been trying to solve them for ages. But yeah, uh, this is where we're going to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I hope you all enjoyed that conversation with that woman. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that we finally solved that puzzle of these things. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!